In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how Spam and Buttons runs the best trips tight end offense in Madden 21 right now. What's up guys, my name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about helping people become better at Madden 21. And so if you're looking to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you to click that subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date on the latest tips and strategies right here on the channel. Now, like I said, I'm going to be talking about a new up and coming player in the Madden community. His name is Spamming Buttons. I actually really um, hadn't taken a look at any of his gameplay, any of his tape, um, but was actually becoming fascinated with it. I was actually in Pop and Stream last night and uh, was talking with, or just kind of watching him play in Friday Night Football uh, over at Mutthead, and I found that Pavin was actually, uh, you know, really complimentary of Spam Buttons. He actually said he's the best player in the world right now. Um, and when someone like Pavin says that, you take note of it. And so I started looking into what he was doing, um, started looking into kind of how he was running and realized that this guy's really, really, really good at this game. And so I wanted to talk specifically about his trips, uh, his trips tight end offense. Uh, here in this video, we're going to give you a couple of pointers. Now, if you don't know, I actually have an entire um, offensive guide that I released on the trips tied in. If you want to get that, you can get that in the description for just 10 bucks. It will literally walk you through everything um, very similar to what Spam and Buttons does. My stuff is probably a little bit different, um, but I think they're both kind of coming at it from the same angle. And that is this, that the quick base out of the trips tied in is one of the best runs um, in the entire game. And so I wanted to share with you a couple of plays in particular. The first one we're going to talk about is we're going to talk about the, the uh, quick base. Uh, as you can see, I'm going to grab it here if I can find it in here. The 45 quick base from this. This is only in three specific trips tight ends um, formations. It's not in every single one of them. And so, you know, the, the Patriots playbook is, is, in my opinion, the best one. But anyway, we've got PA counter go. We've also got um, Pat's Y in if I can find it and then we're going to come out in the play curl flat But basically what we're going to do is we're going to leverage um, the power of This this quick base first and foremost and then once we get to get them to have to start to over commit to stop this run Then we're going to be able to uh, have some other adjustments that we're going to be able to do so most people uh, When they play defense against trips tight end, they do this they do something like this right here I mean, this is what I do, right? Um, this is kind of their basic defense the beauty of quick base, because you've got a pulling guard, if you ID the mic right here, you're going to be able to just basically do a little stop, we'll go, and um, you'll see that you're going to have a lot of success with this run. In fact, it's almost impossible for 335 wide to be able to shoot this. Now, I, there are some defenses that I am working on kind of under the hood that will help this problem, but this primarily is the biggest thing that they can do. Now, sometimes they'll stand like right here. Again, I want to go over kind of the three different areas at which people will stand and kind of where they'll end up. If they do that, you'll see that the guard will pick him up. And as you can see right here, and this is what happens. I mean, this is literally, if you go back and watch the tape from his Friday night football performance, this was what was consistently happening across the board. And, and pretty much people just did not have an answer for this run. Um, in fact, I, I feel like the base run is, is, if it's not already popular, it's going to gain in popularity. So you'll see maybe they'll do something like this, right? Maybe they'll, they'll shift right here like this. And you see, once again, just picks them up like a charm. And literally, you're off to the races for 30 to 45 yards. And it was literally this consistent. I mean, this was, this was pretty much the, the, the uh, Friday Night Football with watching his offense. Now, if you watch here, you'll see that, you know, what if we try to just blitz everybody and just kind of keep everybody in a sound fundamental spot? Well, that's where, again, he can start passing, of course. But I want to show you how this works against the quick pace. I forgot to audible down into that. So, again, we're just going to go to this little um, three through five wide. And what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of creep forward a little bit with our user and put ourselves in a decent position to stop this run. But as you can see, once again, just boom. I mean, you're just popping them and popping them and popping them and popping them with this base. And so what then is going to happen in the course of a scheme, in, and this is why I thought it was brilliant what he was doing. So now he's going to have to blitz like everybody, right? I mean, he's going to have to send the goons and more than likely he's going to have to do something like this, right? He's going to have to bring this guy and kind of lurk on this guy. That's where things really went south for, for the, uh, for the defensive that we're playing this. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to put the tight end on delay fade just like this right here. And we are going to, you know, maybe do something as simple as like a little hitch and out concept over here on the left. Something super, super simple, right? But basically what's going to happen is we're going to be able to double team on that edge. We're going to roll out and we're going to hit crossing routes all day long. And this was literally one of the things that I thought he did really, really, really well. And you can do this within the New England Patriots uh, offense. 
Uh, I, th- I still believe their offense is probably the best overall offensive playbook in the entire game. And that's what's going to lead to is it's going to lead to Mabel coverages like this. It's going to lead to different things. The biggest problem is we've done all of this with just two plays, right? We haven't even gone over, you know, what happens when you motion this guy over, right? So if you motion this guy over, and let's say they're really overcommitting to the base run, then you can just do this little move right here that we learned this from Fancy and J-Wall this year. You can do that cut as well and really turn this run into a problem for your opponent. Not only do you have that, but you also have the ability to pass at a very high level from everything that you're doing. And this is what makes the trips tight end offense so good. It's not that the trips tight end offense has the best passing. I think it has good passing. But the, the beauty of the trips tight end offense is that it has very good balance. Um, it's a very balanced playbook. It's very, uh, it's very simple, but at the same time, it's very, very balanced. And so um, you're going to be able to have the different types of routes. You know, something like this right here um, is a good little example because, again, we're just play action and we're rolling out, we're getting out of the pocket. And as you'll see right here, you know, we're just throwing absolute lasers over the top on that cor- on that crosser. So this is kind of the elements that that he would bring to the table and there's also things that you can do to build off of this and i'm going to talk about that one more play and it's actually specific to only i think two playbooks have it but i know new england has it um and that is that when people are starting to blitz you one of the things that they're going to do it in, in, instinctively as a defense you saw that mr football would do this um, what they would do is they would basically switch these so they would put flats on five and then they might put these on like 20 or 20 or 25 or 5, whatever they put it on, right? So then when they come down and they come out of Mike Blitz 3, and this is a huge, huge, huge little tip. And again, this is specific to New England's playbook. Uh, I think that there's a couple of other ones that have it. There's, there might only be one other one that has it. This RPO zone alert button, okay? This RPO zone alert button. So again, I'm just going to come out in, you know, curl flat. But what's going to happen is they're going to do this right here. I guarantee you this is what you'll see. You'll see something just like this. And maybe they'll bring this guy here, but you know the reality is this is kind of what you'll see. You'll see something like this, and they're really trying to just blitz everybody and really get this thing to get you know stop. So they may even do something like that right there, okay? But remember, the curl flat zone is on um, 25 yards, right? So if I do a quick audible right here to the RPO zone alert bubble, there is no flat defender over there, and I've got easy yards with Devontae Adams. So it's really simple to do this, and it's really, really practical. Um, you know, it's, it's an easy little move here. You're just audibly over here. And again, if they, even if they don't, like if they're not, if, you know, if they're not defending the run, you can just hand this off. You know, the other thing that you have is let's say that they are playing hard flats. Um, it's more than likely going to happen that you would see something like this. So let's say they are playing hard flats, right? Uh, but what you can do is if they're coming down here like this with this safety, right, which is very common uh, to try to stop this run, when you audible to this right here, if they don't pass commit, which is an extra step for them, you're still going to be able to hit this bubble screen. So they have to pass commit. They have to put their flats on a certain level. And the beauty of, of what they have to do is it's in direct conflict to everything else within this scheme. That's what makes the trips tight end so hard to stop is you have these really, really good runs, really good bubble screens, really good quick game, but you also have some of the best routes in the entire game. So if you want to get my entire Trips Tight End Offensive Guide, I can teach you everything that I know about it. You can get that in the description of this video for just $10. Spam and Buttons is a very up-and-coming player. I thought that his offense was absolutely incredible um, to watch and honestly very simple in how it worked, but they didn't have an answer for it. And So if you want to learn exactly how I would recommend that you run the Trips Tight End offense. You can get that in the description of this video for just $10. Thanks for watching and we will see you guys later today.